Hello everyone, this is Rigita with Magic Punk Crafts and today is February 1st <laughs> and I want to just say Happy New Year of the Tiger as a Lunar uh, New Year, it started today. So what you see in front of you is practically all of the projects that I'm planning to work in the month of February. It's a bit shorter month, of course, than January, so we're going to see how it works. But I figured since it's a year of a tiger, I should stitch something um, with it. And I think the only thing I ever had is this uh, Dimensions kit is uh, Beguiling, I guess, tiger or Beguiling. It's a petite, but... Um, just because it's a small in the size doesn't mean it's gonna be super easy because it's a dimensions so there is gonna be back stitching and all kinds of stuff happening the size should be seven by five and i haven't opened it up yet and um, you see all those colors again kind of more full colors than uh, like a winter or spring but uh, there is a quite a collection of colors in here as you see by the the whole uh, list and i'm probably gonna keep original fabric because it's pretty much all of that is gonna be stitched uh, it's, i don't know if it's uh, considered as a full coverage or not but this is what i'm gonna start today and probably gonna be staying with this for a few days because it's already getting late afternoon of uh, of uh, today and uh, by the time i get this on the frame and all sorted out is gonna take a while but this is my first um, and uh, also new whip that I'm going to do this month. So let's uh, look at what else I've planned to do. The next is, of course, my um, uh, eager to be finished, very oldest whip since 2017. It's my oldest whip. And um, this is where I left off uh, at the end of January. I did a lot of stitching uh, in that past month and um, I don't think I'm gonna uh, do as much in February but we'll see so I just uh, need to finish my um, November part it's here it's 2017 uh, mystery sampler by the nuns and threads and uh, in between those uh, planters or something i don't know what like flowers there's gonna be little things and then it's gonna be a big piece for december so i'm gonna i know i'm gonna finish november part and i'm gonna start december but how much of december i'll be able to do i don't know because majority of the month is going to be spent um stitching this uh, like a daily or semi-daily or every three days however um, much i can do and just a little bit at a time and um, so that's going to be my uh, second project. Then let's go uh, another size. So this is my second oldest. I uh, uh, started that in uh, 2018 Stitch Mania. And it's Books Brooks um, Stitches Alphabet. It's a free pattern. And as you can see, I have it I done. So I'm going to start... Um, what the J I think letter in here so uh, I have like a five letters in a row and uh, this year my plan is to do at least three well, maybe I'll be able to do more it's not in a hurry to be finished um, and um, so I'm just gonna spend maybe like two days on this piece we'll see what my mood is uh, for so it includes uh, beads, it includes sometimes a whole uh, six skeins of floss, it has a crinic, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see how it goes in the back stitching and the, all that stuff. So that's the next whip. Let's go. This is, again, um, was not in the plans to finish, but uh, see how little is left. It's just a um, little bit of the darker blue color uh, to put like in, in here uh, with the snow, a little bit of the sort of like a back stitching of the snow. And then it's going to be all beads because the main character is all back stitch and done. And of course, there is going to be um, uh, angel uh, to be written below to stitch. I've done the snow and already um, outlined it so uh that probably will be finished in february like i said it was not in my original plans but um that would be great if i can finish because beading is going to take a while because there's like all scattered throughout um all, all around the frame kind of thing 
and uh, the girl that I've done uh, as a companion has been waiting for him for like what 11 years or something like that so it's time to get this done so that's my plans and I'm probably gonna stick with it until I finish hopefully hopefully we'll see then the next plan is um, something that I haven't touched uh, since last year of course is the Adele Sesslers um, it's like a beloved uh, I got the pattern from um, original hat from hate but then I switched to something smaller size a different uh, fabric size uh, from Astrum and this is what I have or oh, it's close to the half uh, of the row and uh, I'm gonna spend several days at least um, for this uh, couple so I'm gonna continue working on that so that's what in my plans for this couple and I'm doing this on um, with the full cross versus like what I've done before on a 14 count uh, half stitch so that's that let's go next next is the again another thing that um, was not in my plans to finish in February but guys look how little love just over 3,000 stitches and the whole thing will be done it's um, King's Fairy Tale or Two Kings by Astra the original painter is uh, Lithuanian painter composer Cerlonis and I'm very happy to do one of his pieces so uh, this is like a seven or six only symbols left so of course it's gonna be going way faster uh, I think um, Mm, the smallest uh, that has uh, is uh, maybe like 120 stitches um, and then it's gonna grow grow and grow and grow and the last color I think it's 310 at the very corner is gonna fly uh, super crazy so that's my plan to finish this year and I'm probably gonna be doing that at uh, sort of one sitting uh, method um, don't know maybe it will take me three four days so uh, depends how much time I can spend it on each day so that's that and then let's go to my biggie and my biggie is my spoiled child so here it is and uh, my plan in, uh, every month is to stitch uh, a lot of stitches on this one uh, what I wrote down 3750 I need to do to be able to finish two rows in one year so I've done a little bit more uh, than needed uh, last uh, month but um, that's great um, and then maybe I'll be able to do 4,000 or something this month we'll see but again it's gonna be let's move this away it's gonna be just again this uh, kind of wall piece uh, with slightly changing um, colors there's a lot of blends in it too and uh, we'll see how it looks it's going to be uh, nothing too much to see so it should be going a little bit faster not like a super colorful like what we might get um, like in this area or something like that so that's one of my must stitch every month uh, projects and uh, we have a couple more planned for this month my plan number eight uh, project for this month is going to be new whip, new project by Lanarte and it's Asian couple and I thought it's a great way to stitch also in the month of love and I might even start around uh, uh, Valentine's Day, we'll see. I fell in love with this uh, pattern a while back and it's been waiting patiently, um, bidding its time, so I'm going to start. I have everything I needed in here, beautiful, um, like um, hand-painted kind of uh, fabric with the threads, all of it's in the kit. Uh, the fabric uh, is uh, uh, special, uh, God, I can't remember, I think it's written down somewhere what uh, count it is, maybe 27 or something like that, we'll see. But uh, it's my start. Um, hoping to spend the maybe three days or so on this one. Um, again, um, we'll see how fast it goes. I think the very corner here is uh, not needed to be stitched, so it's not a fully full coverage. But this is what I'm going to be stitching on. And uh, there's something else that I wasn't planning to do this year, but once I went through all the magazines, I marked them, um, some of the patterns that I might want to stitch. This way I can clear out my magazines. And let me show you what I think I might start this month. 
So it's from this Just Cross Stitch magazine. It's um, two years old in uh, February 2020. And I thought this is a um, good thing to stitch also for Valentine. It's something small. It's Valentine-ish and you can uh, FFO it any way you want. But um, FFOing, if you know, it's usually my weakness. So I wanted to at least stitch this and designer is uh, Livia Rovaris. It's only 83 by 48. So even stitching little by little, uh, probably I would can I can do that in a few days. And it's given DMC and Sullivan colors. So I have DMC, so that's what I'm gonna start. So at least one a month I wanna do from a magazine so I can start clearing it out. This magazine, I have uh, two possible um, patterns to stitch. We'll see uh, what I decide to do, but um, since it's Valentine's month, I thought I would stitch something like this. So those are my plans for month and we'll see at the end of the month um, how uh, it all went. Uh, maybe some things might change or add or um, some things like that. So we'll see. So far in January, I did well and I stick, stuck to the plan. So we'll see. We'll start, of course, with, um, with the tiger and... Um, I'll show you once I open up and set it all up, um, what size it's gonna look and uh, colors more up close. Lots of snow in one day. And I need it all as eyes. And what do we have here? Lonely deer so far. There's only one, ooh, just laying. Been staring at us when we come closer. <laughs> Right, Hunter? And three days passed and this is what um, I've got. So I think you can kind of already see the eye of the tiger when you kind of look. It's staring at you, it's a little pointy. And um, of course the eye is fully not finished, but I started off with a five, a four, a three, and uh, one a threads as a half stitch. And then it was a bunch of mix ins with the full stitches, as you can see. So it's really becoming dimensional piece. So I uh, decided to set aside since I finished my plans. And what I'm gonna get next is my giant piece of the spoiled child. And um, um, if you remember, I supposed to stitch, to finish two rows in one year, 3,750 stitches. So this is where I'm gonna be starting from this point on. And this is a little bit more than 4,000 here. So we'll see how many I can do. I figured uh, it might take me like five days. Depends if we're uh, going on a trip because we got lots of snow today. Well, yesterday. Here it is. We finally got our street um, entrance uh, plowed. And um, we worked uh, yesterday to get all that uh, snow blown out and uh, some kind of animal tracks, probably deer most likely. We saw a deer in the field. When I took a dog out, um, it was just laying halfway in the field and we went halfway all the way up to it and um, it just laid and stared at us. So we finally got uh, some winter weather a day before that. It was all ice. So everything under the snow here is uh, quite thick layer of ice. Um, so it's a sleety and uh, we still don't know if we're going to go on a trip or not. So just waiting to see the roads online, if it's getting cleared out and the interstates better. So as a snow day, we still have a little time to do something at home. So I decided to at least start my spoiled child. So let's uh, take a look again at it. And it's going to be just a piece of wall here again with a bunch of lighter colors. Um, so I would imagine it's going to be again lots of different blends. You see lightness in here. So... Um, Let's get cracking on that and I'll meet you again in a few seconds for you and we'll see how it looks then. Coyotes in the daytime. Wow. No, that you didn't see every day. Overnight. 
There's two more. Oh, that's where the deer was laying last time. Following deer steps. They're following. Wow. Well, today is already the seventh. Oh my goodness, the first of like full week in January is done. And as I predicted, I did not need full five days to finish my section. So it was uh, just the bunch of mixes and uh, quite a few colors or symbols had uh, like uh, 200 uh, almost 500 uh, stitches at the end to do so what you see is what I've done this like uh, area and um, uh, that's what I have so far uh, from 1st of January and the next section I'm gonna be hitting the middle of the row um, like this line is almost the middle it's um, it's like a five stitches off to the right so that would be it and um, the next time I'm taking this which should be in March unless I change my mind I don't want to play on with this longer but I doubt it in February <laughs> February I don't know why this month is so hard to say it but uh, I'm gonna get something in here happening like you see in the picture, there's the, that uh, shelving thing. Um, so the corner is already touched and I'm gonna do something besides just a plain wall. Although it's gonna be mostly, again, still a plain wall in here with uh, more of those lighter colors and it's gonna be some kind of shading in here. Like you can kind of see some of the uh, darker colors thrown in here and there throughout this section. So I'm gonna do that. I had a few days um, extra practically um, left uh, from that and you know I have been uh, concentrating also a lot on my linen and thread samplers so let me pull that out for you to show you uh, although the month is not ended but I want to show you how much I've done and ta-ta look what I've done so um, I did not get chance to go to the store of course um, to get my um, this changing uh, uh, color for DMC, which is 4211 and um, variegated, I should say. Um, so that space, like those little things, like it's going to be in between throughout the part, last part of November is supposed to go there. So that's not done, but I already started in December and you can see kind of from a fluffs, I had um, already taken some stitches out, frogged out. Um, I changed my mind about the color of uh, where I wanted to put in those. So um, the the two colors are fairly similar, 917 and 718. I mean, you can kind of sort of can tell like a little bit darker and uh, lighter in the darker colors here. But I was putting in here and I, there's going to be like um, um sort of like a flowers or feathers are uh, gonna be in this uh, like a vase and there's gonna be big uh, feathers in here which I'm gonna be using this variegated thread I think that's what I'm gonna do and um, uh, and that's it that's the bottom of the whole part and uh, it does not have a frame uh, same as on the top as on the bottom it does not have a frames uh, frame lines on uh, those parts uh, at least horizontal but um, I stitch part of the feathers in the different color here and there and then I change my mind. Uh, I almost um, actually I had started a tiny bit on the vase in the different color again uh, and then I changed my mind and uh, pulled out and decided to just uh, put the trio and it's going to be a tiny bit on the edges of the vases also of the purple color but the majority of what's left is going to be again the same swirl here finish up this uh, flower petal and this and then it's going to be variegated color left to do like um you know, what's inside this vase uh, a little bit on the edges like a about a half of them and like a big uh, feathers in here and that's going to be done so what i 
thought about possibly doing is since I started in February 17 of 2017, I thought it wouldn't be cool to finish uh, with the anniversary of that by the 17th of this month also. I have about 10 days to do it and I already did like today 200 stitches to finish up this part in here so I could um, work a little bit um, and I think it's possible if I get that thread of course. I did not go on a trip. I stayed with my daughter and the husband and the boys went. Um, they did not make it to the funeral uh, but at least they were there afterwards and uh, stayed uh, overnight um, to visit the family and came back. So um, I stayed and took care of the dog too. And turns out our garage door is broken. We can't even get out, get our cars out. So uh, hopefully this afternoon we'll have some company come in and try to fix it. Because uh, kids are back to school and we have uh, volleyball games uh, to to participate in. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll, they'll fix it in time. So I can get out also to buy the thread. Uh, the roads are much better. Um, we had... Uh, I'll insert a little clip we had uh, in the middle of the day actually it was like after 10 in the morning um, uh, right after like I guess hour after I took a dog out in the back uh, I just saw through the window coyotes uh, three of them just walking you know by the neighbors uh, fence and uh, just traipsing through the field where we uh, go with dog to to run around and the deers showing up so that was interesting to watch over the window of course dog was going berserk he was whining wanted to get out there too when he saw those coyotes so I'm gonna put a little clip to to show them walking um, through the field so that's uh, part of a little bit of wildlife uh, but I think uh, also uh, since uh, I'm gonna be working with this daily again I'm putting aside my spoiled child and um, since we have some snow let me show you what's left so the roads are all clear uh, I still put, uh, have I put down some of the ice on our driveway and I think those are um, probably deer uh, tracks in here that walked across or some other animal um, walked across here um, through our front yard and uh, went around the neighbor across the street turned around and walked back so there's snow but it's already starting slowly melt and um, to remember that we still have a snow i decided to pull uh, giggles in the snow and it looks like this again so um, maybe while I'm stitching this snow will stay on the ground but I really doubt it we're supposed to have tomorrow like mid 50s temperature uh, there's gonna be 40s etc but it's still warm enough to start melting all the snow although at night it's supposed to be freezing temperatures um, like 30 29 kind of thing but I want to maybe have a this finish hopefully snow still be there so i can maybe take this out and take a picture in the snow with it so uh what's left is a little bit of the bluish color to put in uh, where the lighter color snow is some outlines and then um since i have words on top i still need to do words on the bottom um like an angel and uh, outline all of that and then it's going to be beading i think it's over 500 beads left to do maybe 600 i can't remember exactly yet so it's going to be scattered all around this boy and um, that uh, i don't know how many days it's going to take but i think i'm going to be working on that and uh, slowly on my linen and threads so um hopefully you'll see the finish in a second but before that i want to show you something that i also done in my planning and what i decided to do to sort of make myself like a visual uh, all the pictures what i am stitching on and i'm planning to stitch so i kind of uh, 
sorted out in four different uh, sheets. In here, I, I put in a plastic um, sheet protectors, but let's uh, look at the closer. So those are the webs that um, came from uh, like a last year, like I said, that I've started. And uh, there's like a smaller ones and the bigger ones on other sheet. So the first row is something that I was uh, planning to finish for sure. Um, though I wasn't sure about the, the scissor, uh, was that um, holder, <laughs> not the holder, but the um, minder uh, thing to finish, but I might work on that. So anyway, the, the first row is to, to be finished, to planned. Then are some smaller ones in here um, to do. And then I wanted to, to put like a separate, because I know I would not finish it this year for sure. My BAPS, of course, the uh, Adam and Eve sampler uh, on a very small count, my Chatelaine, and then um, my giant ones and uh, semi-giant uh, full coverages in here. Then I had my plant starts and finishes um, to put in, in this uh, sheet, like a those th three is going to be my round robin that um, I don't know what's going to look like. And then it's like a one of um, ornaments, uh, three times of one of the Santas, one of the ornaments, one of the cats. And uh, I couldn't find uh, like a Google image picture of a bountiful bucket. So I put something else that I have also. I might change my mind instead of this uh, bucket i could uh, do halloween i have that one too and the last sheet kind of folded up is uh, starts that i was not planning to finish so that might go to next year but apparently my giggles in the snow is going to be finished this year too so that's exciting so as you see mel hill kit uh, i already i kind of did the check mark for what i already started so started this and it's going to be finished soon yay the tiger and then my uh, tea dragon uh, this is um Marabella dressmaker's daughter. Of course, it's a big one. Uh, this I'm planning to start this month. That's why I want to finish um, my giggles because I need the side of the frames um, to put this one on. Dimension Silent Flight uh, body threads for which I luckily have now all my color um, thread list. And uh, there are two biggies in here. Uh, the stork that I, th um, not the storks, um, cranes that I need to start because uh, we don't want to get any more bad news uh, or somebody else getting sick. So stitching them apparently, um, if you put uh, beliefs in that um, of the people that it helps protect. And of course my new thing is a beaded, fully beaded picture. So those are was uh, in my plans to start but not finish this year so i'm gonna hang this up in front of me so it's gonna be my full visual so it would um um show it's all beauty and uh encourage me to stitch and finish some of the things so hopefully i'll finish even more of these things besides what i had planned um originally of course i'm not expecting any of these to be finished um but um yeah so I, I figured a visual is always uh, good to, to see and encourage and uh, look pretty for the eyes. And uh, I'm going to hang it up and on the wall somewhere and uh, let myself enjoy it. So anyway, I'm going to go back to my uh, Giggles in the Snow and we'll see um, how it's going to look all finished up. Well, I did run out of uh, beads. Uh, turns out, um, since it needed only two types of beads, one is 168 number, and as you can see, I have plenty of those, and you don't need a lot of these beads, uh, but the main one was number uh, 2017, and I have like a couple here left as a kind of comparison. I, I've ordered these to, uh, to do, um, so I'm, I'm waiting for the shipment to come. And of course, I ordered a couple uh, other things since, you know, beads, one thing never travels by itself. So what I've done, I've done all I could. So the whole top here is done up to like at this point and there's going to be some more beads. And uh, the angel word is going to be um, done in beads too. So um, I think I have about the 300 uh, left to do. So 
this has to sit aside and the snow already started melting it's not much of that left outside seems like every time i want to pick this up i don't get much of the snow left uh maybe it's a curse or something but um since i had to set this aside i've been working on my linen and thread sampler and let's see that one here it is um it's sitting on my um stanley holder and i finally uh, managed to go out in the store i found only jan's michaels didn't have hobby lobby didn't have uh this uh, thread 4211 so i finally managed to get it at joanne's uh, i knew they would have it and i need that to finish up the everything so what you see is just a little bit of the purple left in this corner to do and all then it's going to be that variegated thread so i'm going to finish then um the november part in between uh, those um spaces and then of course it's going to be uh what's left in december month uh with, with that thread big feathers here and uh, and big feathers there and uh, partial ones in the corner and that will be it so today is already what the ninth uh, i'm gonna work a little bit i'm gonna of course finish the the partial um what is that it's it is like a urn or a base or something and then I'm going to start with the November part. I want to finish November part with the variegated thread since I finally got it. So I don't know when exactly I'm going to get my beads to finish off the snow angel. But it will definitely will be snowless ground by then. But it's okay. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to get some snow at least as a last kick in the March. Uh, which what we usually get um, it won't last for long again um, but um, this is looking uh, better and better to, to be finished soon and we'll see how it all goes I might um, since I can't work uh, for very long on this I'll be doing again a uh, little by little um, sitting down and then putting aside and doing something else for my eyesight or I might pick uh, one of those uh, valentine a uh, little ornaments to start from a magazine like i said i want to start emptying out my magazine pile so we'll see what i've decided to do but you guys will see that um in this video so until then so while waiting for those beads for my um snow angel I worked a little bit on my linen and threads, but like I said, I want to uh, fully work all these. So I decided to grab this magazine. Like I said, I want to uh, get rid of some magazines and uh, there's going to be some like a small ornaments that I guess I could do uh, while waiting, you know, one, two days, kind of think a month or so. So I decided to pick from this uh, Just Cross Stitch magazine February so it's a valentine -ish. there are two little things that i saw in there that might be cute so one of them is be mine uh, there's a tag by uh, livia robaris right here is the name and actually the design size was uh, written here uh, per one thread uh, but instructions say stitch over two so they miscalculated misprinted so i kind of fixed myself um over that but i decided not to go with this fabric i had at home uh, quickly grabbed this uh, like a leftover that i had cut off and it's a arctic but edinburgh 36 count by picture this plus so it's gonna be small size it's not 32 it's 36 and uh, over two so i'm gonna stitch so i should get about uh, 4.6 by 2.6 inches uh, size of that and uh, of course it's going to be blue uh, background versus this uh, copper tea dye uh, tea dyed thing so i'm going to see how it turns out and um, i need to still pull out my uh, dmc threads for that and i'm going to start stitching and um, we'll see how it looks on that like i said it's just a little cut off piece that i found wide enough for that and um, marked my middle um, of the fabric and it fits in this um, uh, I can't remember what uh, brand is uh, this hoop but um, this is what I'm gonna start but I'll do that after I come home uh, from um, watching well it gets valuable uh, game so um, I guess in a second you'll see this all finished because I don't think it's gonna take that much of a time Well, 
Well, it's already the 13th morning and uh, I'm very happy to say that my Be Mine tag is all done with all the back stitching. If I calculated everything uh, correctly, I got 1928 uh, stitches um, when you convert that little bit of the back stitching into it too. And already put in my initials and a year which is a great way to start the year is to finish like that so all it's left is going to be cut out um, outlines and uh, ffo it but i'm not sure if I'll, I'll be able to do it before the valentine's but at least i have something valentine-ish uh, stitch and one magazine uh, can get out of my pile so again it was uh, uh, be mine tag and also um I was stitching, by the way, this uh, towards the end, uh, more um, at the, like a skating ring. My daughter and her friend wanted to go there. We spent almost four hours. So I was just sitting there watching Olympics, uh, winter sports, and uh, stitching on this thing. And people looked kind of funny at me because I had my uh, those magnifying um, <laughs> thing on the head. And uh, yeah, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get this uh, stitch done and i did it and later at night i decided to continue working on my linen thread sampler and guys guess what it's finally done it's uh, it didn't have to wait for full five years a um, few days short of that but i finished the last stitches and uh, closed off on the on the back on at uh, like 11 55 p.m last night as you know for me the numbers always uh, show up um, at the same even like one one five five two two um so that's what i got uh the only thing uh, i have why i have this in my q snap is because i want to sign this you know put my name in the year or um i think it might be in this this area like a split i'm not sure because the name might be bigger if i put my full first name and the year would be something smaller or should I just put initials here two things in here I'm not sure I almost thought of putting um, uh, 2017 through 2022 but I thought uh, maybe not so that's why the only thing why it's uh, still in the Q-snap and again I was stitching this on a small count uh, 32 uh, cream linen one over one and it's 205 stitches wide so i don't know what's a total uh, of the whole thing because in beginning i was not marking anywhere fully uh just one playing uh, ga yearly games um, but i erased the, all those posts so that's exciting so together the newest and the oldest whip got finished in one night <laughs> So that was great. So then I thought, what should I pick next once I, I put initials and things like that? And uh, then I remembered that uh, February 16th is Lithuanian Independence Day. Um, it was in 1918. So I thought that would be a great thing to, to finish for it my... Um, Lithuanian painter's piece, uh, Two Kings, and the uh, pattern is by Astra. And uh, as you see, it's not a lot love, just uh, 3,100 and few stitches in that area. And uh, since I already have all of the singles and uh, two stitches uh, of each color left, so it's uh, getting more bulkier in um, each color. So I thought maybe I would be able to finish that though tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I am planning to stitch, start something totally new uh, but I could work that and finish uh, um, on Independence Day and I thought that would be a great way to celebrate. You can see also like a Lithuanian uh, symbol, Vitis, um, the, Vitotas the Great and I have him here with the flag too, Lithuanian flag and those are needle minders I made myself and I thought that would go very well with this uh, picture and uh, I might be working on this uh, along later with um, with the new Valentine piece and this is uh, stitching on 18 count uh, Zweigert Ada one, uh, 2 over 1 
full crosses so that's all it's left and it's going to be a lot of dark colors because all the light ones are done and i might actually uh, omit some of the original stitches here and put my initials like i did in the lion um my daughter was suggesting this versus like a put in um like a back stitching outlining that stuff so I think that's what I might do since it's not going to go in museum or anything. It's going to be just something uh, that my kids inherit. So my initials will be fully stamped in there. So that's what I'm going to start uh, today. I don't know how much I'll be able to do, but I thought at least start uh, kick off. And um, since I finished my linen and threads daily, if I work on my Valentine uh, piece uh, for those two or three days, I think I have planned. I might continue this as my daily piece um, and before the 16th to finish or the, we'll see how well it goes. If not, then I'll grab something else. Uh, like uh, last night I put in uh, like 100 stitches in my, um, uh, what's that, uh, boo ornament that I was doing. Um, started last month. So uh, we'll see which one I grab as my daily piece, but uh, this is where I'm starting and uh, I'll see you in a second uh, with some progress. And here we are on the 14th, so happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And I uh, hope you have a great time, uh, even if you're by yourself and enjoying uh, your own company. Um, and loving yourself too. So what you see is what I have left, which is just over 900 stitches in here, and it's only one color, which is 310, so that's all it's left. So it's gonna go fairly quickly, but since today is the 14th, I've decided I should start something new uh, to honor Valentine's Day, and uh, and to start stitching this one, a uh, brand new uh, project, and it's by Lanarte Company from a culture series. It's called Asian Couple, and it's not going to be a small project. So it's on a 27 count, so it's a little bit bigger, and it includes some beads. Um, I put in a separate bag because they uh, got loose in the package. And you see here are the colors, uh, all of that is going to be stitched. And uh, I already put on this frame, which probably is going to be just temporary. And do you see it's uh, like a hand dyed, uh, printed fabric. It's not plain because uh, part of this uh, project is not going to be stitched, like especially like this corner. So you're going to see the plain fabric in here. And total stitches is just over 62,500. And it includes, like I said, um, crosses with one and two strands of floss. It's going to be long stitch, back stitch, and some beads, uh, mainly where girls' jewelry is. So that's going to be my new start on this Valentine's Day. And I'll be play, uh, playing with this along with my kings which uh, i'm gonna finish up probably within the next uh, few days so uh, we'll see how it, it all goes so far i had this planned for three days but uh, if i catch the the wind uh, i might stitch extra day but so far that's what is in my plans and uh, we'll see how it goes i already marked the very uh, middle uh, where this um, guy's uh, face is and that's where uh, i'm gonna start in right here so this is what i'm starting something brand new and today is the 17th i did not stitch any today just wanted to show you what i've done so far and i think this is going to be my stopping point for now so you can kind of tell that uh, it's a guy's um, I supposed to be like right here above uh, that's his nose and the mouth and that's where the girl's hair is gonna be and I started going into the uh, like a background in here uh, which is stitched with so far with uh, one thread each color uh, the the face and uh, and the features were with the two threads full stitch so that's all I've done uh, so far which is uh, uh, not bad. 1% is like 125, I mean 625 or so stitches. So I did over 
three, close to 4%, I think, on this part. And I've decided uh, I think that might be enough for now. And I want to show you what um, I've uh, sort of done. It's <laughs> just a little bit thing. And I actually um, washed uh, my pieces and cleaned up. The, the little bitty, uh, it's cut out and um, still uh, not finished in the shaping, but at least this has um, uh, been ironed out and feels clean. But uh, for this one, uh, I put, decided to put just my initials and the year. I thought two and two, it's uh, conspicuous. And this is what the whole thing looks like. I had it uh, drying on the towel and cleaning it out, but uh, that's, yeah, five years project. It doesn't look very big, I mean, when you compare to my hand, right? It's just a, like a, about three hand uh, lengths. And also, I have my kinks uh, right now soaking in water, uh, hoping to get the marking off, especially it's hard to do in the part where um, the markings uh, squares are uh, hiding underneath the threads. On the outside, you can kind of rub off easier, but I think that will need to soak in for a little bit um, longer. So it's soaking right now, but uh, it's all done. And I've decided to put my initials, you, you can barely see it in here just uh, with the light thread initials and uh, year 22 can kind of see in here so it should also not be too um, too eye-catching in there so that's what I've done so far and I think I'm gonna be going um, uh, planning tomorrow go on the tr that trip until like a late Wednesday night and I'm not gonna have a lot of time for stitching and again <laughs> Seems like it's every time uh, we have to go like on the funeral day or so before it's just starting to rain which becomes ice and then snow. So, so far there's no snow. It's kind of like icy first slushes of us on the driveways and then icing up. Our kids were sent uh, earlier home. Um, so again, right before the trip, day before the trip, it's always seems like like that. and. Um, we're supposed to leave tomorrow so hopefully it's gonna be warmer but I have to prepare I think I'm gonna bring something small for my trip to stitch because I won't have a lot of time for that and um, I haven't picked what I want to bring but uh, once I do you'll see well guys I wanted to show you uh, some of my purchases stash as you know, I don't do a lot of them, uh, especially since last year. And I'm not planning to do a lot of uh, shopping uh, lately online. But um wanted to show you what I've got. I think this I received last week or so. Um, Cindy sent me email. I did not check it in time uh, because she was asking if I wanted to be reimbursed by uh, some threads. I think she still was waiting on some silk threads and couldn't get it in time or if I wanted that to be replaced with something else and um, I guess I did not uh, see the email fast enough and uh, I received this package so it's okay. I need to check and uh, see um, is everything in here. So uh, that's for my Chatelaine Old English Rose Garden. Um, I can't remember when I ordered it. I think it might have been with the Black Friday sale when she had the um, discount. So decided to get the kit without the DMC because I don't have a problem getting DMC. But all the specialty threads, all the beads in here, um, in there. So, and there's the Rainbow Gallery uh, shining in here. And um, this design is totally different than typical mandalas. So it's going to be interesting to stitch eventually when I'm ready to stitch. I think I'm not going to start this until uh, possibly until I finish my uh, Baltic Sea Mandala, which is, as you know, uh, not even 1% is done. But I'm trying to uh, start catching up on that. So that's that. And uh, she always... Uh, packages up very nicely so that's one item and uh, as uh, I've told you before that I ran out of these beads for my snow angel boy from Mirabilia so I ordered beads and of course you know as they say beads can't travel alone so I decided to uh, start adding more items for my 
uh, like a specialty project that I'm, I want to do on uh, canvas work and uh, they require these um, gold cords a uh, different one is uh, splendor silk of this color and uh, uh, like size 12 and 8 and 5 of these threads I want to do Jacobean uh, work in here and uh, I saw that the um, kits were on sale so I decided to grab and there's one kit um, this um, style uh, there's uh, quite a few of the similar patterns kits uh, there's a woof umbrella with the colorful and less colorful views and uh, this one is called autumn leaves by Lucas or Lucas and uh, uh, Moldovian um, kit and seems like it's uh, not gonna be very easy uh, skill level on uh, 18 count uh, Ada so that's uh, I think it might be considered a full coverage piece and um, as you see there's lots of uh, threads anchor threads and um, all the full colors so I don't know when I'm gonna start this but um, it was on good sale so I decided to grab that and try out because I don't have any of that collection and speaking of collections um, as you know I have vintage roses done and uh, almost done FFO wing in the frame oval so uh, this uh, goes with uh, the, the roses but uh, this kit um, is with uh, 16 count Ada which I'm gonna be replacing if I bought with the linen I had to uh, ship all the way like from Russia and uh, that would take a long time and uh, I did not want to wait and I wasn't sure how much would be shipping it because I don't like to buy just one thing and I do want to grab a bunch of other kits so this is what is gonna be there's a um, few more now flowers in a similar um, style that are can do but since I have only two of those oval frames I think lilies and roses will go well side by side and um, look at the colors in here wow beautiful colors it's gonna be in here um, bright nice so I'm gonna be replacing the fabric and linen and uh, I'm sure I'm, I, I'll find the way to use the Ada fabric so that's my purchases and I don't know when I'm gonna do the next unless again I'm uh, missing some uh, things so only then probably or if I find uh, accidentally stumble upon some amazing sale but that's all my purchases I had uh, uh, since I don't know maybe like October probably so so yeah um, and uh, I guess uh, I need to put these now away and figure out what I want to take for my trip well today is the 19th and I'm happy to say that last night um, right before midnight I finished my snow angels and even managed to already um, again to do my initials in a year so the girl is gonna be in 2011 and the boy is gonna be 2022 so <laughs> like 11 years difference so as you see the bottom letters were all uh, done in the beads probably doesn't show much of the shininess um, in that right now but uh, what I noticed you can kind of tell the beads where um, I got the new ones and see it's the same number and everything but apparently my other beads were older and it got bleached out of the color that was supposed to be like inside here so uh, so I guess that would be a lesson um, for me in the future and hopefully for you too that um, um, beware that older beads might be losing uh, their color so um, it just I thought that these looked kind of too too much of the white in, in here they had some kind of coloring in there but not a um, big difference the blue ones you can kind of tell the in the middle of those spots but um, that's what it's supposed to look like I guess unless the um, Mill Hill changed their beads uh, coloring in here but uh, it's all done and uh, hopefully the color change not going to be noticeable a lot um, by others so this one is ready for the bath and uh, the frame is also waiting I already pre-cut um, foam board for um, backing of this 
it will need to take a bath um, iron out and lace it all up and it can go straight in a frame because I'm not doing them with um, mats they're both gonna be just in the plane because the uh, me and the lady in the framing department couldn't uh, find the mats that we fell in love with and uh, we thought the frame itself is enough so very happy to say that um, and I have something um, already ready to um, work on next and I had this uh, packed up uh, to go on a trip um, and it's Brooks Brooks um, Stitches Alphabet. It's a free pattern on her website. Uh, you can um, go in there and it's right there and you can uh, click on whichever letter you want. And uh, funny thing with the trip, I'm gonna be still taking this, but um, I, I packed with the sun to go uh, gas stop, all that other stuff uh, took off and then my lights kicked in. Um, check engine and VSC and all that stuff and uh, didn't feel any difference but I've had those lights uh, before on my car and we couldn't find with the mechanics anything wrong my car is uh, already in 225,000 mile uh, club <laughs> and we passed it so it's older car but I thought it would be fine to take um, that car to bring some uh, more stuff in there because it's a minivan so just to be safe to travel that 300 plus miles uh, just the one way and then we had to go through chicago and go in wisconsin from where i live and um, that's a long trip to be risking so we decided to turn around and we came home and we're gonna go tomorrow so tonight i can still stitch on this uh, kick off with the letter j which is a uh, japanese um, stitching i think something to do with japanese um, um stuff so that's what i'm gonna be starting working on and uh, we'll see how much i can do today and then i'll have a couple days of uh, little touch-ups work uh, on that too and it's already february 25th and here is uh, what I've done. I've actually done two out of three letters that I plan to do this year. So J did have beads, um, those red beads in her uh, hair piece, like it, the ones that uh, have it, things hanging. And it had uh, that crinic number eight uh, for the needle and uh, some in uh, border in here. And of course, uh, some back stitching and stray stitches though in the pattern actually it was not marked this uh, thread even um no mention about it but it was in um in the drawing and in the pictures so i kind of assumed that it's 310 and with one thread and i did with that there was like a i eyes were done with two threads so that was done and then i decided to jump in on letter k k is for knitting as you can see like a knitted hat and again uh, sparkles here are with that uh, size 8 uh, braid done and um, the outlinings is kind of hard to see but uh, like those knitting needles and uh, there was no uh, drawing for these which I would assume is also uh, knitting needles but there was nothing mentioned and then there were um, like a straight back stitching with two threads on those uh, yarn balls in here. So it was not uh, very complicated. There were no beads in that letter and I'm very happy. And there's only one left that I plan to do for this year, but I'm not going to do that yet. And actually when I finished this, um, I uh, decided to uh, grab something else and let me show you what it was. And it was this ornament. I actually, uh, I'm gonna try to find a picture of what I've done at the end of January for it. And uh, I later last night, actually, I finished it. There's some backstitching involved um, to do in the hat and uh, this um, decoration, like a ribbon or something, and uh, the shoes. There were some colors uh, thrown in here too, uh, so it's not only black color, but it would be my number four uh, ornament. I wasn't planning to stitch it this month, but um, when I was at the volleyball game of my daughter, I, 
I grabbed here and there uh, kind of stitch in this and it's again on a 20 count um, because they works the very very soft uh, fabric and I was doing two threads over one and uh, finally this done and uh, so far this year I planned only this one uh, out of um, the six of them that are in the booklet so I'm very happy what um, what I've done so far and uh, since it's not the end of the month uh, the last plant whip is gonna be my uh, beloved let me flip this over and um, I've started it last year in February and pretty much didn't touch much of that uh, throughout the year I think I stitch only one more time and uh, this is like about a halfway mark I'm stitching this on the 16 count um, Ada with uh, SIS threads so that was my first time I think it might have been this first to to fully try and continue with uh, th those threads so you can barely see any uh, fabric showing through and I'm sure when the fabric washes it's gonna shrink even better and you shouldn't see anything so my plan was uh, to stitch about um, uh, 2,000 stitches every few months so I'm hoping to continue in that and I'm doing uh, of course uh, full threads in here also as um, as a short uh, update um, when I was on the trip I did a lot um, I was uh, selling on the Facebook marketplace some of the items uh, went in um, uh, like um, college university right there on the Lake Michigan I'll put it in picture it's it's amazing it, like uh, the school has lots of windows and it's facing lake and uh, student buildings are also right there on the lakeside so there might be a chance my kid if he chooses um, this school that he might get the windows uh, facing the lake and I just wanted myself to sit in there and another side is like all forest so it's beautiful scenery um great 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 view you I miss I miss the um, the water the the lake the sea the just the sounds of it so went there went in uh, Lithuanian um like a little store in Chicago and sat down at the restaurant first time to eat something and uh, I'll put in a picture of uh, like a sampler platter what uh, we had in there and uh, coming home we had a bad uh, storm starting um, and uh, it was very very slow driving at the very end I thought I might have to stop by over somewhere <laughs> and uh, luckily I made it in time um, to go home and uh, it's already two days when uh, kids don't have a school and I'll show you why and it's like the same story when I was traveling it was starting to rain which became uh, I stop and um, uh, all this snow again starts to cover um, cover the ground and the streets and uh, we haven't gone anywhere that's why our driveway is not cleared up yet but uh, last night when I was going out with the dog it was just like walking on the top of the grass again so I liked how one meme I saw on the Facebook that winter is like a um, couple in argument when she, uh, she come she leaves the room shutting door and then pops open and says and another thing so hopefully that would be the last weird uh, annoying uh, icy um, kick of the winter um, we want to snow but we don't want all that ice underneath so two days kids have no school and uh, we're sitting at home and um, I've decided to st stitch a little bit more and we'll see how it all goes so it's nice that there is a snow but uh, it's slippery and the car is going very very slowly so that's what is keeping me at home so I'm gonna just work on my beloved and uh, we'll see how much I can do in those uh, about uh, four days and uh, at the end of that I'll uh, go over like overall my monthly thing because I had uh, more than I was planning to especially finishes and even some starts I wasn't planning to um, or continuations uh, for this month but I did it so that's great so anyway this is what you see right now and I guess I'll uh, turn on the camera again when it's all done at the end of the month 
so I stitched another full two days and I think uh, I've had enough um, to satisfy myself. Um, as you can see, I did a pretty big uh, chunk more than I was planning to. And I think partially that was because I had a lot of uh, just the 310 going in the big area. And there are some colors kind of mixed in. So we did more than 2000, of course. And I... I know that I did not reach 4,000, so I've decided I'm going to stop with this for this month. As you can see, I already marked where uh, the whole um, row ends, so um, it's going to start more of the grayish color, like a background, like it was in the very beginning in the end. So I'm going to uh, probably finish this piece next time I'm going to grab this. Like I said, the, all that block of his color is about to end in this area. And it's going to be more work to do in there. But I think I can do it next time. But um, overall, I'm very happy uh, how much I've done. And since I have about two days of uh, stitching left in this month, I figured I'm going to uh, concentrate on something else. I looked and looked over my uh, started whips. And I figured uh, I can work on this. It could be my uh, like a focus piece uh, to finish first. Um, app shows that I have just over 7,000 stitches left in that. So I can just um, work uh, on this in the next few days and then continue throughout the next few months until it's done. So it's going to be my main uh, bigger piece to concentrate to finish. And after that, I already have something else lined up from a bigger things that I want to put more stitches in. So this is where you see Begwilling Beg Beg <laughs> Tiger by Dimensions. And this is what it looks like. You can kind of tell that there is uh, already eye st kind of staring at you. Ooh, colors change too. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. And as you can see, it's right now scattered because I was uh, just taking a color and going... Uh, going until uh, the thread finishes and then picking something else and continuing so i'm gonna just be probably filling in more of that and uh, like i said uh, since it's dimension kit you have a full stitches you have a half stitches with uh, all kinds of uh, different amounts of threads in it so i'm gonna see how it all goes and there's a few blends in there to make it more nicer so it's sitting on the frame and I can just grab uh, threads now and uh, continue stitching on this one and we'll see how much I can do in the next uh, few days. And today is uh, March 1st so I wanted to um, just go over what I've uh, managed to do this month. So in the past few days I stitched comparatively very small amount on my tiger. I put in like uh, only like 700 stitches so um that's better than nothing i guess but it's still not a lot comparatively to the other days so uh i started actually and finished the uh, month of february with uh, this uh, beginning tiger and overall i've uh, touched uh, 11 uh, whips 11 projects uh, three of them were brand new and I had uh, five normal kind of size and uh, two smaller size finishes. So let's go maybe with the finishes first. So the my biggest, longest, um, longest finish uh, that I ever had the project, uh, probably uh, it was my linen and thread sampler. So it's finally done. I managed to uh, finish in this past month um, just uh, like about a week shy of a uh, five-year anniversary that I've been working on this. I started in uh, February or yes, uh, yes, uh, February of 2017 and it's 2017 Mystery Sampler by Linen and Threads. And like I said, those colors I've uh, picked uh, myself uh, which uh, parts to do in which color and that's what I've got and it was stitch over one. And this past year, uh, and mostly like past several months, I've done uh, the most work in this. And I'm very happy how it turned out. Um, it's all ready to go look for a frame. I have my initials, my end of the 
project uh, year uh, put in in here and um, it's finally done so my oldest project is finished so that was my first one the second one um, that I worked on and finished it is um, like I said um, from a pair uh, by Mirabilia it's uh, snow giggles Giggle is in the snow, uh, it's called, and uh, the girl was done 11 years uh, previously, so um, this one is finally done. I started and uh, finished it this, uh, this year, so from J in two months I got it all done. And like I said before, you can kind of tell the difference in the beads, like at this part and here. So I guess the beads do uh, get the bleach out, even if sitting in the darker parts of your <laughs> closet. So it's all done. I, again, have uh, my initials in a year, just like a girl I had. And um, I washed it once, but uh, got some kind of uh, stain dot in here. And I want to wash it again to try to get it out. But it's ready. Uh, the frame is waiting and uh, hopefully in March it's going to be all framed and done and both uh, both uh, kids are going to be sitting next to each other and in the frames because girl has been waiting for him for quite a while. So that was my second finish. Then, let's move this out of the way. Then I had uh, unplanned a start and a finish and it was this from a magazine um, and I'm going to do the same thing again in the March, at least one piece that I want to start to clear out of my magazine a stash and be my tag and again I already got it all initialed and dated and um, we we'll have to figure out how I want to cut it out and, uh, and uh, do the FFOing. But uh, I just did a uh, piece of uh, fabric that I had uh, left over and um, just did it over to my magnifying glasses. Of course, I could have used uh, more over dyed the threads in here, but I decided to just um, use uh, my stash what I had uh, from regular threads. So that was be my tag. So that uh, would be another finish. Then, as a sort of small finish, it was my partially uh, travel project, purse project, was um, one of the dark shadows, and um, another ornament is done on this 20 count, um, like I suggested, uh, linen, and uh, it had uh, several colors in there, and I decided at the end of the month to just uh, finish off and not to keep it in my purse, because I could probably grab something else so that was my project and finish and I'm very happy there's a few more left out of this but I'm like I said it's not in a hurry it's a small thing and that's a finish then it was my another big finish of course it was not five year project but still is a biggie for me it's um my Two Kings or uh, King's Fair Tale by Lithuanian painter composer Cherlonis. Pattern is by Astra. I, I'm gonna try to put uh, all the links that I can below. And uh, decided to finish it off um, quicker as possible, though I was planning to drag it out until April when it's um, also Cherlonis' um, uh, memory, but. Uh, decided not to because it was calling me again and um, I was so afraid that my, um, my special markers um, from my Aliexpress would not wash out especially in this area it took me a long time to clean out while washing uh, as you saw it was soaking soaking and didn't get it out but then I used the medium setting um, iron and it uh, seems like it's all disappeared because it's supposed to be not from a washing but um, from a warmth to uh, disappear those markings and uh, my initials and the year I just uh, did it kind of lightly in the corner um, so it wouldn't stand out that much but it's done um, when I took it off the frame it's actually um, looked so small it's like really I did it this, this kind of small size but uh, I'm still very happy with it and um, uh, Need to figure out now uh, what kind of frame I want to use for this. Should I use matte uh, matte boards um, in it or not, or just get uh, some um, just a little bit nicer frame or something like that? So we'll see. Uh, I'm planning to hit again with those several finishes and my um, 
what's becoming my uh, favorite uh, consignment shop, a charity shop, and uh, see if I could uh, find the frames that uh, would fit perfectly with, with these pieces that I finished. Or maybe I'll grab something that I just like and uh, it might call for something later. But this is all done, all washed and uh, ready to go look for the frame. And at the end, I had the two sort of like a small finishes. And uh, out of three of this year's that I was planning to do, and it's Brooks Books uh, Stitches Alphabet. So I finished two letters. Uh, this was my uh, travel project when I was uh, traveling up north um, for uh, like a, almost a week. And I did it all and it included beads, backstitching, and uh, there's a gold uh, thread that you probably saw um, through my uh, vlogging <laughs> parts. So one more letter left uh, for this, this year's plan and I don't know when I'm gonna grab it. I think I wrote it down somewhere my future monthly plans but we'll see so those were the finishes so maybe let's see what was left uh, to um to do and continue on the different whips so like i said um i'm gonna continue i'm gonna continue with my big beguiling uh, beguiling tiger and uh We'll see how long that's gonna take. Uh, it's still almost 6,400 stitches left in this one, so it's a uh, slow. Then I had um, I had the uh, new was it a new start? Yes, new start was uh, Asian couple. So uh, very happy because it was in my plans to start. I took it off the frame because I was using the the sidebars for it. And uh, in one sitting, I did pretty good chunk. I wanted to finish uh, the guy. It was uh, dead center um, from a top and I finished him and started in the background. So I might do continue next time more in the backgrounds, but I don't know if I'll be pulling him out um, in the next month. You'll see my next month plans um, at the next video. And uh, that's what I've done. It's pretty good amount, I would say. Um, Let's see, almost 2,500 stitches uh, are in here. So that was my new start and um, it's gonna take me a while to do that. Then as planned, I had my beloved. And as you can see, um, there's one more time left and then I can finish the row. So that was exciting. I got a good amount in here, um, about almost 3,700 stitches in uh, one sitting. So that was what I worked on. Then next was my, the biggie biggie and uh, spoiled child. So we've done a good uh, chunk of, of it, almost 4,000, like, uh, let's see, 24 stitches short of 4,000. Um, so it's mostly wall, but I think next time I'm gonna start already hitting a uh, little bit of uh, something else besides uh, plain wall so it will be more uh, probably singles uh, somewhere confetti doing so we'll see how that goes and I'm trying to figure out if I uh, missed anything else I think I do so let me grab it quickly one more item that I was taking, uh, it was not planned for this month totally, but I was taking to my daughter's games and it was my Dracula uh, tissue box. And uh, I just uh, worked, you know, a watch game and uh, and just stabbed the needle with very simple half stitches on this plastic big canvas. So I did uh, this chunk and about here this much. So that was uh, uh, 205 uh, Full stitches uh, can converse to that and um, not much more left in here so um, it's very easy something uh, that you don't need a lot of concentration to do so I think those were all of my um, works that I did um, several let's see I had only like a eight planned plus magazine and I ended up with the 11 whips so that's great. Um, stitch wise over the month, of course, it was one thing was shorter month. Another thing, it was a um, um, trip for me. So that did not give a lot of stitching to do. And um, 
And uh, of course, the lastly, to, just to see of this as a background uh, with the current situation with Ukraine. Um, it's it's not directly bordering with Lithuania, uh, my uh, home country, but um, it's a threat if uh, Russia takes over Ukraine, then the next step probably for Putin would be to take over Baltic uh, states because it's the connection to Baltic Sea and, and probably he has bigger grudge to Lithuania because we started a whole USSR breakup first. So that's, uh, that's a worry. And there is already a Google form put together for uh, all those Ukrainian designers that you can buy patterns from. I don't know if uh, they'll be able to uh, get to their banks uh, right away, but uh, at least something would be waiting for them when they get to. I've been watching um, like a, even on YouTube a live uh, broadcast uh, with some stitchers from Ukraine and uh, they speak in Russian. And uh, so I watched all kinds of things in the three different languages. So I'll put the Google link for you below if you want to support uh, the designers. And um, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy time for everybody. So I think that's that. And uh, let's hope the next month will be much better for everyone. And it's a spring, so it's supposed to be new new kind of life starting and uh, we don't have a uh, snow anymore um, it's very nice outside uh, but uh, everyday problems of course exist like a car problems and water heater problems <laughs> like for me even today uh, I have to um, I'm waiting for um, plumber to come in and see what's what's happening for uh, water heater in the in the basement because it started leaking that hot water so everyday problems do exist, but it's nothing compared to the war situations. Um, so uh, to leave you with something uh, more uh, cheerful, um, let's hope that um, I can make some more finishes uh, next month. Um, I was not planning to, but uh, this month I think it's, if you count seven finishes, I think the only time I've done that it was back in November when I was doing my three months to the finish line um, game and uh, of course there were a lot of uh, smaller pieces than, than this uh, size and uh, next month I'm planning to work on the nine main um, whips and uh, of course the, something from magazine but for that you'll see um, some other time uh, on the next video and until then i'm gonna say peace um, and uh, stay healthy still um, because we need our health to uh, be more uplifting and um, let's enjoy life while we can until next time this was your Gita and saying bye bye <laughs>